Hey there, dear friends. I've got something to share that I, w I can stake my life on, that it will help your faith to grow. And it's got to do with making decisions. You know how I remember used to. I'd want to go the right way. I'd want to please the Lord. I didn't know which decision to make. And I... The Lord taught me something about that. And I want to share it with you. Uh, I was scrolling back through my old journal that's on here, all my videos. And I can't... And my, way back when, a good year or so ago, the majority of them were private. And I was just listening to some of the things the Lord was teaching me at that time. And I saw where I had shared this back before anybody was coming to watch. And I want to share it again. Um... So, what happened was, I was just reading one day, and I was in Proverbs 3, and y'all know the scripture, and it's where it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Don't lean on your own understanding. And I read that. It was during my quiet time. I had gotten along with the Lord, and I was just studying on it. I read it a few times. I was trying to get it in my mind. And I was going to go away from there, keep that in my mind, chew on it, you know, think about it, wait for the Lord to show me more. But this day, when I read that, trust in the Lord with all your heart, don't lean on your own understanding, something came to me that said, keep reading. So I kept reading. And it went to Proverbs 3, the next verse after 5 says, Acknowledge him in all your ways, and he will direct your path. And at that time, I didn't know what that meant. I mean, like I said, I just, you know, I had just come to a place where I'd take these, the Bible, take the scriptures, sit along with the Lord, and ask him to teach it to me. You know, ask him to give me understanding. To open my, my eyes to see what it really means, you know. And so I went away with that. And little by little, the Lord just kept giving me more and showing me more. And here's what, come to find out, I can tell you now from hindsight. Here's the lesson, okay. And I really encourage you to do this for yourself. Um, if it's the truth then you will see results from it. You will. Um, if it's not the truth, it'll just fall to the ground like the Bible says. It won't be no good for you. But if you can take this, talk with the Lord about it, get this in your mind, chew on it, think about it, and then pay attention. When a situation comes up and you've got to make a sticky decision, Y'all, I'm telling you, it could be anything. You might need to decide which job to take. It might be dealing with an issue with one of your children. You don't know what to do. It's a hard situation. You don't know which way to go, right? It could be anything, any decision you have to make. And, you know, I know you're like I was and still am. Wanting to please the Lord. Wanting to go His way and not my own way. I'm telling you, I wrestled with that for so long. Lord, how do I know what your will is? You know, Scripture says, when you pray, anything you ask according to His will, He will do. How many times do I say, well, Lord, what does this mean? What is your will? You know, any questions you have about the Scriptures... Take them to Him and wait because the answer you get is forever. It will change you. That scripture you're waiting for the answer is going to come to life in you. And then you're going to be able to apply it to your everyday life. You're not just going to sit and hear all these words being spoken to you, the scriptures. You're not just going to go in here and read them. But now they come to life in us by us going and applying them practicing them in our everyday life. That's how they come to life in us. 
So, what he here's what he showed me, and it's so simple, y'all. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart, all right? Don't lean on your own understanding. Acknowledge Him in all your ways, and He will direct your paths. That's a promise. We know the Lord can't break His promise. He doesn't lie. It's a promise. It is golden. It is life for you to take and not just hear it, but go apply it. And here's how the Lord showed me to apply that. So I started practicing it, y'all, little by little. Whatever bad situation came, hard situation came, I needed to make a choice. Maybe in my finances, maybe in my marriage, anything and everything. It might have been just a tiny decision. It might have been a huge decision with a lot weighing on it, you know, a big decision, a life-changing decision. And what I started to realize he was wanting me to do was just what he said to do. Acknowledge me in that, Misty. In all your ways, acknowledge me. You need to make a decision. You don't know which way to go. You want to go my way. You want to please me. You're afraid to go your own way. All you have to do is come to him and acknowledge him in this situation. Lord, uh, say us about a job. Lord, I, I, I've got this opportunity and that opportunity. Or I want to... I think I need to quit this job. I think that's what you're telling me. I'm not sure, Lord. I don't know what to do. Quit the job. Keep the job. It could be something like that. All you would do is talk with them about it. Lord, here's what I'm afraid of. Just sit and be honest and real and raw before the Lord your God. Talk to them about it. Here's my fears about it, Lord. Here's my worries about it. I'm afraid if I take the job, this will happen. I'm afraid if I don't, this will happen. I'm afraid if I do the surgery, this will happen. I'm afraid if I don't do the surgery, what the doctor said will be the case. Whatever, okay? Talk to him about it. Just talk to him about it. Because he knows the best way to go, right? He's got plans for your life. Good purposes for you, okay? So I would just talk to him about it in every which way, y'all. Like he was my counselor. Like he was the one who could guide me in the right way. Like he was the one who would not lead me astray. Because he is all those things. So I would talk to him like that. And it was increasing my trust in the Lord. I was trusting in him that I didn't know what was right to do. You know? But... It came to a place the Lord wanted to kind of give me a little more freedom. Because it is for freedom that Christ came to set us free. That has a lot of different meanings. But in this case, the Lord wanted to set me free. That Misty, you can go. Make the decision. Do. I will go with you. I think in Exodus it says, He said, I will go with you wherever you go. So, now... I do want to say this, it has to be practiced, and I do want to say this, it's going to stretch your faith. It's going to grow your faith. So, right now as you hear this, if you don't already know this and you don't already do this, it may sound like, Ooh, I don't know about that, I don't know if I can believe that. Just ask the Lord about it, that's what I hope you would do. Ask Him. You know? All right. So after I acknowledged him in it, talked to him about it, cried, snotted, whatever, y'all, everything, I had placed it in his hands. Now here's where the promise comes in. He said, if you will do that, I will direct your path. I will direct your path. And here's where the faith comes in. Now I've acknowledged him in all my ways. He promised that he would direct my path if I do that. So now here's where the faith comes in. And it is that now 
I don't feel like I've got a word from him. I don't feel like he's, you know, because sometimes he'll lead you by that. He'll give you a scripture. He'll, might give you godly counsel. I mean, whatever. But I was learning how to more and more trust on only listening for the Lord. That's the place I was at. So, after I acknowledged him in all my ways, in this particular way, for this particular decision, whatever it may be, now... What I was starting to practice to do was believe that whichever way I went, this way or that way, take the job, don't take the job. Ground the kid, don't ground the kid. I mean, just whichever what it was, okay? Whichever way I went was the right way. Why? Because that's what he promised. He said, if you will acknowledge me, recognize I'm here in this. Look up, what does acknowledge me? Recognize. Bring into the picture. We're bringing him into the, our details of our life. He, he said he cares about every detail of our life. We're acknowledging him in, okay, the situation or decision that needs to be made. So he said, do that and I will direct your path. And what he showed me was now, Whichever way you go, whichever decision you make, that is me guiding you. That is me directing you on the path I want for you. Because that's what he said. If you acknowledge me in it, I will direct your path. And... I'm telling you, that will grow your faith. It takes a lot of faith. I had to practice that for probably two or three years. And I've come to a place now that I have so much freedom about that. I'm not constantly worrying, did I make the right decision? I'm not constantly worried that I displeased them. Y'all, even if, when this came up, I acknowledged a minute and I made the decision, Trusting that he was direct to me that way. And then guess what? I ran into an issue, a problem. And it, I was like, okay, this ain't true. Something's wrong here. This, a bad situation, argument came about with my husband because I went this way. So I was like, that wasn't your will, Lord. I, I missed it. I, I didn't hear you right. I, the enemy was coming to steal away this freedom the Lord had given me. That this was the truth. Growing my faith. Because when I made that decision, based on this promise, I ran into a challenge. I ran into a trouble. And I thought, this could not possibly be your will for me, Lord. This could not possibly be the right way. I messed up here. And I got all shaken and messed up and confused. But the Lord had to show me more to, to encourage me to keep doing this. And one of the greatest examples we can find in the scriptures of this happening... I think, is when Jesus was getting ready to go be crucified and he was praying in the garden of Gethsemane, wasn't he? And he was pleading with the Lord, take this from me, Lord. You know, if I, he said, if I don't have to drink this cup of suffering, please take it from me. But if, if it's what you want, if it's your will, I will drink it because I want your way and not my own. Jesus was practicing the very same thing he has us to practice. Not trusting in his own thoughts. He was trusting in the Lord. Jesus relied and depended on the Father. He only spoke what the Father spoke. He prayed to the Lord all the time. He was setting an example for us of what to do. And in that garden, that's what he said. He said, and I've done that too, you know, like... You know, if I don't have to go through this, Lord, please take it from me. But if there's no other way, I'll drink this cup. Only be with me through it. And that's what Jesus was saying. And what ended up happening? He acknowledged the Father in that situation. That's what he was doing there, didn't he? But what ended up happening? Arrested, mocked, insulted, ridiculed, hung on a cross to die. And y'all, 
we could look at that and say, well, that could not have been the will of the Father. And matter of fact, isn't that what Peter thought? He said, for be it from you, that will never happen. Did he? But the Lord was directing his path. That was the Lord's plan. It was the Father's plan, the Bible says, and foreknowledge for this to happen. So I began to realize that if I made a decision, trusting that the Lord was directing me, and it turned out to be ugly or I didn't like it or painful or whatever, I just realized that there was a lesson for me there that I must endure this hard time. This hard time, this challenge, this persecution, this affliction, which Jesus said is going to come to you in this world, in this trouble, that was for me to go through. Again, and then, then when I got to that place where it seemed like it was all messed up, I start back from square one, acknowledge him in it. You know? He's got so much to teach us, not only in the good times, y'all. He said he's a very present help in times of trouble. So if you start, if this comes to life to you, and you start practicing it, you talk with the Lord about it, your faith is growing, remember this. You come into a way and you thought, well, that possibly couldn't be the Lord. That it's this is messed up. I messed up. Da da da. Whatever. Remember, He's in control. He's in charge. He said He would, the Holy Spirit would come and lead us and guide us into all truth. He is leading and He is guiding. So, all the time, we just don't realize it. But the Lord wants us to know this is going on. You know, this is giving us more and more freedom to walk about in this world. It is growing our faith, and our faith must grow. It is growing up in the Lord. And y'all, this scripture in Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, back then, meant this to me, okay? But now, years later, back then, that was milk to me. The scripture. Now, the Lord's showing me something totally else in the scripture that's even deeper, even more powerful. It's become meat. That's what happens. But in order to go on to the meat and the finding out the depth of the riches of the wisdom of God, we have to be nourished with the milk. We have to not only hear these words, but go and do them, which means to practice and apply them to your everyday ordinary life and situations. That is how the word comes to life in you. That is how you grow, by practicing, stepping out in faith that these promises which is the very heart of God, you can stake your life on. You can cling to Him. And He will honor and reward your faith and your trust in Him as it's growing. He will protect you. He ain't going to bring too much to you to overwhelm you and everything as you practice these things. But as time goes on, you know, we're, we have to learn in this little detail, in this little circumstance, he was faithful. He proved himself to me. He surely is direct to my past. So we go on to the next hardship and trouble and affliction. And our faith is growing. Each time we go, we're taking a little lesson with us. We're taking eternal values. Living words are going with us that we're able to keep walking, enduring, persevering, not growing weary, not giving up in the hard times. That's what's going on. So I wanted to share that. Proverbs 3, verse 5 and 6. You take a look at it. See what the Lord might show you about it. And then say, Lord, give, show me. The next time a situation comes or an opportunity or I may need to make a decision, ask him this. Will you bring the scripture back to my mind if this is what I'm to do? Just start there. See if he won't. I'm confident he will. I love y'all. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.